So now it's time to go from the Omni to the venue. To get from the Omni Hotel to the San Diego Convention Center, it's literally like a 10 minute, five minute walk. In that time, Saikuno must have been approached by at least 15 to 20 women. I'm, I, that's probably the wrong word. Girls. Like, they were very young. And I was like, first one happened, I hear, oh, Saikuno. It's like, I hear, I hear the, the rumblings behind us. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's keep it moving. Let's go, buddy. Then I hear a few more rumblings. And then, you know, he stops, he says hi to one person, takes a photo. If it's out of traffic light, it's all good. We keep going. Then we actually cross the street and get in front of the convention center. Then a few girls, Saikuno, Saikuno. <laughs> they start, they start. <laughs> They're hustling. We see them coming down from the A hall side, and I'm like, "Oh, we, d this is this is starting." To, I can I see where this is going. The clock is ticking. We have limited time. We got to get there early on time. <laughs> we got to we got to check in, make sure everyone's ready to play, warm up more possibly. And then he takes a few photos, and I'm like, "That's it, Co. All right, you you take the rear. I'm in the front. We're 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 camouflaging this thing. We're 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 gonna sandwich together, and we're gonna get." into this venue without any further interruptions and we're going to deflect anyone from the side at this point you know <laughs> like we, we got to protect this guy at all costs mr Sakuno president get down oh i couldn't believe it it started to click i was like i was like dude like you're famous <laughs> it hadn't really clicked yet but i was like oh this guy's a celebrity <laughs> It, it finally clicked and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Uh, this guy is actually famous and it's different because Listen at Evo like I mentioned before I've taken photos I've had people stop me to take photos small talk with them chat, but you know, they're dudes They're grown and we share a common hobby they play Street Fighter, you know, I you know, they'll say like, oh, I watch your videos I learned something there's like a much more like I don't want to say logical. Maybe that's a rude thing to say in the situation. But there's a much more practical connection, I will say. There's a much more practical connection of like you you there's like a utilitarian almost connection there, right? Like this guy taught me something, I learned from him, you know, whatever. Saikuno had fangirls. Fangirls in like the classical celebrity what you see people screaming for michael jackson like you know like that classic sense of hysteria he had fangirls and i was like oh and they were they were very young like like young <laughs> like like they're not gonna have anything to talk about saikuno is older than me no listen groupies is derogatory guys and that's also not even accurate Okay, it's it's not groupies. That's that's very derogatory. I don't want to say that. Saikuno is 33 years old. I am 32 years old. These girls were at least like at most 20 years old. So it was very much a fangirl like what you have for K-pop or something. You get what I'm saying, guys? That's what I'm trying to describe this phenomena. And I've never seen this before. And Saikuno was always like, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, how, how do you do a Saikuno voice? Oh, nice. Uh, mm, that's not it. He has a very distinct, a distinct cadence and a tone to his voice. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. That's that's awesome. You know, I never really expected to be in this spot, in this position here, but it's so nice of you guys to come up and say hello. But you could tell where some of these Saikuna was not interested. Like there was, a, I saw a few of these, and you could tell. I was looking at his face, and I'm like, I got to save this guy. You could see it. I could see it. I could see that he wanted to get out of there. And so, but we, we make it through. It's all good. But that was the first exposure of that kind of phenomena that I had. And um, I didn't really get it. I didn't, I didn't understand that that was going to happen beforehand. Right? Okay. So after this concluded, at this point, we did the beta pro. And then we're all hanging out back here. So this is where all the players are gathering. We're all moving back here, and after this part, I go and I reconvene with the team. And then, uh, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. Uh, things are settling down, most of the people have left, and then... We're talking with the team, Saikuno's there, and we're, you know, still commiserating. And then I see from across the room, a girl approaching. 
and she has a selfie stick which I believe she's live streaming and I just see I see her and I see her make eye contact with Saikuno and she just beelines across the whole stage area into where the players are and just starts talking to him and then we I, I didn't pull up Mr. President I didn't go Mr. President, get down! No, I didn't pull any of those, but like, you know, we're like, uh, and then Saikuno is like, oh, hi, you know, and then she starts talking to him, and I'm like, this isn't the time. Like, you're not supposed to be here. I see, oh, well, production guy c catches my eye. I look at him, and I was like, I kind of point, like, uh, and he's like, she's supposed to, and I'm like, no. <laughs> and so, so the production guy does help out, gets him out of that. Saikuno's like, oh, I guess I appeared on a, oh, I guess I, did a free stream appearance, huh? Guess I appeared for free on the stream. Huh. So, yeah, he gets her out of the, oh, sorry, you can't be here, players only. Um, and I was like, man, you are crazy famous. Like, she got in there. Like, hey, Saikon, do you remember me? He's like, no, no. We met last year? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, that was whatever. So then we go back to the side room, which is kind of like a section off part of the convention. Um, so it's accessible via the hall, but it's behind some curtains. And we're there gathering our stuff, grabbing the last few bites of free food, about to head out. And then I'm talking to Shine or somebody, and then from behind their head, I see that same girl open the curtains and walk in. And at that point, I'm like, it went from kind of funny to kind of creepy. I was like, oh my god. I'm hoping she was just lost. But at that point, I was like, this is getting weird. She got turned away. Maybe it was just coincidence. <laughs> I was a little bit like, oh, is this like a, yeah, is this a stalker situation? Like, what's, <laughs> what's happening here? I had a moment of like, no, I didn't tell anybody or anything. I was just like seeing it behind someone's head and she got turned away. And I'm like, okay. That made me feel a little bit like, wow. Um, ooh, weird. Uh, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I don't want to make this individual feel bad if they ever <laughs> catch word of this. Um, but yeah, it just, it just it, another reminder of the celebrity of it all. So then we all meet in front of the convention center. This part is, is in the open. We're still all gathering around trying to figure out our next plans, where we're going to eat. You know, we're all small talking, uh, chilling with each other. And uh, then I'm like, oh, where's Saikuno? Then I look to the right and Saikuno is out there. You know, in his full cosplay with his, his Doki Bird sign. I'm the Doki Bird now. 40k likes on this. These people are famous, huh? But what this picture doesn't show you, we're all on the left side. Saikuno is signing and taking photos, signing autographs and taking photos, and a line has formed to like the from where he is at the, the entrance to the main uh, stage right there to the door, which is like 50, 100 feet back. You know what I mean? Just like full line of at least 50 people already. And I'm like, oh man, he got swamped. It's too late. So, <laughs> me and Co were his security, and uh, we let him down. It's over. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I just look over. Where's Saikuno? Huge line. <sighs> oh man. And so we're figuring out where to eat, and then that's when uh, you know it becomes difficult because we have too many people. We start making plans, whatever, and then eventually we roll out to the Omni Hotel to sync up. And I, I go up to Saikuno. I said, "Oh, excuse me, so sorry to interrupt." To the person he's talking to, you know, meeting meeting their idol. And I was like, "We're gonna head out to dinner. Good stuff today. Really cool meeting you. You good here?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, uh, you know, there's not that many people left. You guys have fun. I'll see you later." <laughs> and I look over. That line is out the door, man. That line is it is not close to done. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is stuck there for sure and i was like all right <laughs> later 